Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. I'm your girl Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for my beautiful Scorpio collective. I will, everyone, is peace, blissed, and enjoying this Thor's day. Today is a beautiful day to do manifestation, abundance rituals, prosperity rituals, money rituals. So you might want to tap into the energy. It's also a new moon. So that will, will really be a powerful energy to work with. Um, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really, really good energy, which is why I felt inspired and encouraged to do the reading. I'm definitely getting a sense that there's some sort of passionate new start. Like there's this burning sensation nudge it's like something is unearthing you know within you and you're feeling inspired to do something there's something that's moving you towards your passions or towards some sort of new endeavor and whatever this endeavor is it's going to lead to success it's going to lead to some sort of victory i feel this sense of fearlessness from you Scorpios like a fearlessness like never before so I absolutely feel that you all are on the other side and my phone just chimed so that is absolute confirmation that you all are in the space of fearlessness and power and strength and I feel that it's a really invigorating energy intoxicating energy um, that you all are feeling because it's almost as if like you've come out of a cycle and because you have, you know, you've overcome whatever those difficulties were, uh, you've overcome the adversities, whatever that was, it's like now it's like, you know, your strength now, you know, just how powerful you were because you didn't have nothing else to lean on but your strength. So now it's just like this burning desire to go after everything you want, everything you may have put on the back burner, everything that you told yourself you couldn't do. Now it's like you're going to try it. Even if it doesn't work, at least you said you try it. And even if it doesn't work the first time, it doesn't mean that you're going to be afraid to try again. It's almost this sense of like now you're hitting the ground running. Now you're going full throttle almost. You know, this is a powerful, powerful energy. It's something that is unearthed within you. And I feel it in your gut. Like I just feel this, this, this energy in, in my solar plexus. So it's as if there's the sense of you taking your power back, owning your power. It's also the strength of knowing who you are like when you know your power you know who you are you don't have to showboat you don't even have to display it to everyone because you know what you're capable of so there's this this quiet and poised yet powerful energy that you all are in and owning and it's very very attractive very very magnetic it's as if you are drawing in and attracting everything you desire and other people are taking note they're taking note of this some people are taking issues with it whereas other people are feeling empowered and encouraged and inspired because they know where you come from it's like they saw you going through the mud like fighting through it through the thick of it and so we have right now a mellow row this is called i and i and I and I is pretty much speaking to the self, you know, speaking to, you know, the higher self, that that lower self connecting and communicating with that higher self and the higher self letting you know there's infinite possibilities out here. So that's the fearlessness that you all are in, because it's like your higher self is letting you know what you're capable of, letting you know that there is a win on the other side. So it's telling you and encouraging you to keep going. You know, if you're going through hell, keep going. Don't stop and wallow and loathe and cry and moan. Keep going. Don't get discouraged. Don't get distracted, you know, by the distractions. 
whether it be people, whether it be circumstances, whether it be a situation you might be dealing with, just know it's all a test. It's testing your ability to remain persistent as well as to persevere through whatever that obstacle may have been. Because it's always a situation where you have to realize like you're not going through anything. You're growing through it. So where there is a lesson there, there's something within that experience that the divine feels you need to take a little, take a little page from that and keep it in your mental Rolodex for future uh, for you to, you know, be able to relate to it in a, in a future situation. So it's, it's all for you to grow on. It's a, it's a growing pain, if you will. So that's what I got from just that. So that was, that was beautiful and powerful all in, in and of itself. For anyone that may be new, welcome. My name is Q. As I said, I too am a Scorpio. I am an empath. I channel messages intuitively, and I am also clairaudient, which is why you hear music playing in the background. The music blends beautifully with the tarot cards, and that is why I do that. And plus, not to mention, I like music. I love me some music. Um, my readings are general, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus, Mercury, your Mars. Check your other placements so that you can get a more clear and concise message, okay? Um, these readings are timeless. My readings are um, but I do take note of the day that I record, but I don't give you dates. Um, so these readings are timeless. So that means whenever you see the video in your feed, if you feel, you know, so inspired to push play because of the title, the thumbnail, or even the timestamp, that means it was divinely ordained for you to do so. Okay. So let's go ahead, do some house cleaning. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine most high god our creator to shine a powerful powerful message of love and light i call personally upon baba obatala and mama oya and baba ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards and so it is, so mote be, ashe, ashe, ashe. So you beautiful, beautiful souls. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. If you are new here, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. <laughs> so let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. We're going to get some messages from the numerology deck. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have personal growth. So what did I say? You all have been growing through something. There's been a growing pain. So this personal growth has led to you being very, very sensitive to energy, to information, psychically in, uh, sensitive, very intuitive, very, you utilize your discernment. So especially now, post you going through a growing pain, now you know it's, it, it, it's to your betterment to trust your intuition. With I and I, uh, the name of this album is called Infinite Possibilities. So now I feel like there's this fearlessness because you know that there are infinite possibilities, which means you know you're the alchemist, the magi, that you create the potions and elixirs to life. You're aware of the power that you possess. You know that you are a co-creator with source, that you have the ability to transmute, to to be the conduit of change, if you will. And you've had to do it for yourself first and foremost. So it's as if you have applied those lessons on yourself. So the healing that you've done, the growing that you've done on yourself now makes you a great healer, now makes you someone that can help others. You could be that conduit in other people's lives to help them change, level up, grow, evolve, and purge whatever behaviors, attitudes, bad habits, you know, whatever it is, perspectives, uh, ideologies, belief systems. It's like you're the conduit of change now. And this was a personal, personal thing that you've done for yourself. And so now it's as if you have the ability, the power to help others. You're now becoming, um, it's almost like you're being initiated to be that to others. This is an all purple card. So this speaks to your, your very strong psychic abilities to your sensitivity, to, to information, outformation, to energy. 
it's like you're tapped into a higher frequency as well. So you have a very strong spiritual uh, strength, a very strong spiritual uh, connection to your guides, angels. You receive downloads, transmissions. You receive messages through all um, of your sensories, whether it be intuitively, maybe you're a scryer, maybe you're a seer, maybe you're a psychic, maybe you're clairaudient, maybe you're clairvoyant. Maybe you utilize tarot cards. Maybe you utilize crystals. Maybe you utilize crystal balls, water. It's like you are very sensitive, very, very, you have a heightened sense of um, spiritual connection to the divine. So this is a very beautiful energy and you have grown, you've evolved to this level. So this is like, you know, in that very uh, divine feminine, divine masculine energy as well. So with this, this is like that seven speaks to your crown chakra. So as I said, you may be receiving information and information through, you know, perhaps your dreams, having very lucid dreams, a lot of very um, profound dream activity at this time. And you're re recalling those dreams. Most times you may have forgotten it, you know, two minutes out of rest. And now it's like you can recall certain things that have occurred in your dreams. You can recollect certain people that were showing up in your dreams. So this just speaks to your connectivity right now, uh, spiritually. So that's very beautiful to come out in the, um, you know, straight out the gate. So right now what we have is black moon, and this is called who got the props. So black moon, so the moon is what's popping out to me. You know, the moon reference is, again, that speaks to uh, psychic or intuitive energy, intuition, but it also speaks to emotion. So not only have you evolved mentally in terms of your uh, logical aspect, but I feel emotionally you have also found equilibrium. You're now more emotionally intelligent. And so maybe there were some things that were hidden with the black so you, that's what led you to trusting your intuition and to protect yourself, your energy from energy vampires, from people who are not showing their true selves, not revealing their true motives, intentions. So this is really like you being told by the divine. Maybe you received a download to protect yourself. Maybe you felt the energy of someone around you and it was just very shifty very low down, gritty and grimy like onyx. Onyx is black, so this is black moon. So you picked up on somebody's shifty energy. Maybe you caught somebody's eyes shifting, looking left and up, letting you know that they were lying, letting you know they was telling a tall tale, being deceptive, sneaky. And so that's the personal growth. You had to get bit by the snake in order to learn the lesson, in order to learn. Some people have to learn through trial and error. As I said earlier, some people have to go through a situation where they hurt in order to learn that, okay, I don't do this again. I can't do this again. So this is powerful. So that was a, par a personal uh, growth is, is like a growing pain. So you had to, you had to suffer in that experience. You had to, there had to be some suffering. So on the split, we have relationship change. So this definitely could have been a connection that you were in, a love ship. Perhaps these were friends, fake friends. Right now we have uh, Junior Mafia, and this is called Crush On You. And what really struck out was Junior, the word Junior. Junior is, you know, kind of like indicative of, of, of almost like, um, you know, an, an adolescent, a very youthful energy, you know, a Junior, when you think of Junior. So I feel like maybe this was someone who was kind of like very immature, you know, and this relationship change led to your personal growth. So you could have been engaged, married, common law marriage, lived with someone. You could have been in a serious relationship or thought that the relationship was leading to a more committed connection. And it, it, it ended prematurely with juvenile or junior, excuse me. So somebody could have been still, you know, maybe there was some sense of like someone being a commitment phobe, someone not really wanting to be in a relationship per se, but just have the perks of being in a relationship with crush on you. Maybe this was somebody that you genuinely loved, 
someone that you thought genuinely loved you. Maybe this was like a connection where someone from your past may have hit you up and the two of you connected and you thought that the relationship was going one place and it ended. You know, maybe this is someone that you have a crush on right now that has a crush on you that could be watching. We shall see. But let's see what we got. So with that relationship change, something changed. If you're single, I feel like you're not going to be. If you're single and mingling, I feel like you're going to get caught. Like somebody is going to catch you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you're, you're, you're out there and you're open, you're receptive. Somebody's going to catch you because you're a catch. You know, somebody's going to, you know, scoop you up, I should say, because you're a catch. Um, if you are in a relationship and it's really toxic, you're going to end that ish because you're no longer doing any of the, the, the backward stuff. You can't do backward ass backward shit. It's like you're not you're not going backwards. You're moving forward with crush on you. You could have a secret admirer, somebody that's been crushing on you forever, but you've been tangled up in this toxic relationship or you've been tangled up mentally, not seeing the red flags or not seeing that something isn't serving your highest good. Maybe somebody's hidden in plain sight, you know, with abundance. You have this financial blessing. This is something you've been manifesting. As I said, you all are co-creators right now. You're in that that alchemist energy, that eight, eight. Remember, um, infinite possibilities that I and I saw by Mel LaRoe. So that's exactly what this looks like. These are both infinity symbols when you turn it sideways. So that's the infinite possibilities. You're manifesting some sort of emotional abundance. And I say emotional because this is a pink card, but this is also you manifesting some sort of wish fulfillment. There's some sort of miracle that's taken place that you've been waiting for and it's going to bring so much joy, so much happiness. It could be impertinence to love because you have Junior Mafia featuring Biggie singing crush on you. So somebody that has a crush on you is really willing to come in with this abundance of love. Somebody that's really going to be very uh, mature about theirs and it's because like with the double numbers I always feel that's a, a when it mirrors when there's double numbers that's you and someone that could be coming in that's mirroring your energy so I'm strongly feeling like someone that has a crush on you that sees you as wish fulfillment that sees you in the limelight that sees you as a star you're being rewarded with someone that's on your vibration this person is also going to be just as much a star in your eyes someone that you may have prayed for like I said called in manifested someone that you had called and prayed for it's like they're here so this abundance is showing that there's an infinite supply so you're going to be emotionally fulfilled infinitely you know not just for today but for all of your tomorrows and you know this because you've been patiently waiting for it it's like you're not stepping out there unless you know whatever you're getting into is going to lead to that of what it is you you desire so with this two this is the number of the high priestess just as i said very sensitive very psychic very in tune very much on the frequency you're tapped in scorpios and this is why you're waiting patiently because you know it's coming right now we have a tribe called quest elect electric re relaxation so you're not pressed that's what patience is you know, patience is a form of action. So you're still being busy doing what it is you do as the divine feminine or divine masculine, whether that's working on your craft, repairing your credit, raising your babies, master manifesting, co-creating with source, being creative, being artistic, just creating new ideas, new ways of thinking. That's what you're busy doing. So that's a sense of patience because you're not just sitting around twiddling your thumbs and, and waiting for something to plop in your lap. It's like you're still being busy. You're being proactive in the process while still waiting patiently for what you know is due, is due, what you know you're due, what you know is just for you. So that's why this abundance is here because you've been patient, beloved. Divine is saying, you know what? Because not only you have completed that cycle, you've come full circle, you've learned the lessons, you've healed that self, you've loved that self, you know that self, now you've leveled up, now you've set standards, and on top of that, you're co-create, it's like you're owning your power, so now the abundance, the abundance that's yours is coming, this is the wish fulfillment, and you're just very relaxed, Unpre you're not bothered, you're not pressed, you're just very patiently waiting, because you know good things take time to create. 
So this is a beautiful energy and you've been on this journey for a while. So it's as if you've mastered, you've mastered yourself along the process, along the way, because you learned like, you know, it was a growing pain. That's what personal growth is. It's like you learn to take it on the chin and keep going to persevere through it, regardless of how difficult it gets. You didn't stop, like I said, and, and, and complain and whine and moan and, and loathe in that and wallow in it. You just kept going. You kept going. You kept growing. You kept evolving. And more importantly, improving, beloved. So this is beautiful. So let's see what we got on the, on the split here. I'm going to do three cuts. That's what I've been doing as of late. Bottom of the deck will be your overall energy. Look what we got. Abundance. So this was meant to be your message because we just saw it in the split. And here it is as your overall energy. I can't make this up. You're about to come into some sort of wish fulfillment. Something that you've prayed for, wished for, asked for. And because of your patience and because of your persistence and in, in manifesting in calling in whatever this is it's like you claim something you affirm something and it's like here it is everything that you've asked for everything that you've prayed for it's here infinite possibilities remember the infinity symbol double times and this is in the form of a person i just saw 21 21 which is 3 3 that's 6 remember we saw the 6 love card so I feel that that six love card could be a past love, the six of cups, somebody that you already know, or maybe this is somebody that you will feel like you knew them from a, a, a former life, a past life, because that six could also be the lovers. So that's like a spiritual union, some sort of kindred spirit, a cosmic companion. I told you you was going to be emotionally fulfilled because you're going to be emotionally overflowing, abundant, overjoyed, happy, elated. This is something that puts a smile on your face. This person's matching your vibration and energy. You both are like-minded. This is like attracts like. And because you see this person as a wish fulfillment and they see you as a wish fulfillment, that's where all of this abundance and this fulfillment comes from. Because this is the very person that you've manifested. This 8-8 eight eight reduces to 16, that's 7. The crown chakra, that's where the lucid dreams, the two of you could be communicating telepathically and intuitively this could be someone that you may just have a very strong psychic connection to maybe when you first connect with this person it's like when you you both have conversations they may finish your your sentences and you theirs even if you just meeting them it's going to feel very familiar because it's going to be a past life connection someone you met in a former life we got manifestation here on the bottom of the deck i can't make this up Another eight. So we have eight, eight, eight. Get ready for a blessing. Get ready for a miracle, Scorpios. Get ready for a wish fulfillment. Get ready for whatever it is. I told you, you were the master manifestors, the magis, the alchemists. And here it is. Here it is. You're manifesting this person and they are manifesting you. You got pink, pink, eight, eight, eight. This is emotional fulfillment. Someone that's going to speak your love language. Someone that's going to be emotionally intelligent, someone that is a wish fulfillment, someone that is someone you have manifested. And this is also someone that knows how to manifest because you're matching one another's energy here. So this is someone that's also um, in a high spiritual rank, same as you. They may have gone through similar life lessons. They may have gone through similar experiences and have evolved and ascended as well. They've learned how to navigate difficult situations. They've mastered all of the suits, the swords, you know, that air energy, that earth energy. So they're now grounded. The two of you will be very, very grounded, balanced and in alignment with one another. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. And right now we have um, Midnight Star. This is called Curious. And so what I see here with Midnight Star, and I'm speaking of star qualities, wish fulfillments, miracles taking place, manifesting, and then we got Midnight Star and you got manifestation. So there's no doubt about it. This person really finds you to be very radiant. It's like your energy is very invigorating. It's very mesmerizing is what I'm hearing. And this has almost 
amplified, like it's amplified or triggered something in someone. They're, it's triggered and, and piqued their curiosity, if you will. You know what I'm saying? It's like this person, I'm hearing curiosity, you know, um, it says kills the cat. Uh, that's the true saying. But I feel like this, this person is no longer going to be curious because they're about to make that move right now. They're going to make the move because this is something that's manifesting in this physical reality. So someone is setting their intentions and they're coming through. And I just saw 7-7, 25, 25. So that's 14, 5. So you may receive a, a, a phone call, a text message. You may f receive an email. Someone may literally mail you a written letter. You know what I'm saying? And this person is very curious about you. Like I said, there was a secret admirer. There's somebody that's literally like, you know, sitting back and watching, you know, admiring you from afar. Someone that really has, um, you know, a little thing for you. But with this manifestation, it's, it's here. So let's see what's coming in for my beloved Scorpios. Who is this person Scorpios dealing with? So I got two cards. Look what just flew up. I can't make this up. I just chimed in on the six love card. And here it is. This is somebody that loves you. You know, they're curious about where this situation is going to go. I got two cards that flew out. Bottom of the deck is music. It's telling me to listen to this song again. So we got Midnight Star and it's curious, right? So that wish fulfillment, that same person that I was saying sees you as a wish fulfillment, the same person you will also find as a wish fulfillment. This is someone that you have manifested. Maybe in your manifestation journals, you may have written down specific characteristics, features, things that you desire your person to have without doing any love spells or any of that. You just wrote down in your manifestation journal what you desired and what you desired is here because now you have somebody that loves you. This could be, like I said, somebody that could be from a past life if this isn't someone that you've met already because I was getting the six of cups from the six earlier. And with the six of cups, that means that's someone from your past that may have like kind of walked away from the connection or maybe there was a disconnect. Maybe there was the, the timing wasn't right. But now there's a sense that someone's returning because they've had an epiphany, some sort of evolved perspective. This could even be the lovers. So that's the past life connection, the spiritual connection, union, partnership and universe source. Your angels, ancestors are conspiring behind the scenes to bring this person in. This person has become far more curious of this connection because perhaps maybe they can't stop thinking of you. And with this six love, like I said, there's a strong psychic connection. The two of you may share. As I said, when you both communicate and have dialogue with one another and build and get to know one another and have deep conversations, you're going to find that when you two communicate, it's like they're going to finish your sentences. You're going to realize that the two of you have had very similar life experiences, been to the same places, like the same music, eat the same types of food, don't go to certain places. You know, it's just going to be a lot of familiarities or similarities, I should say. And the connection psychically, intuitively, it's like y'all are both like on the frequency, beloved. It's like the wavelength is just like y'all are like plugged in. It's just like if you have a walkie talkie, you know what I'm saying? And y'all are going to be on the same channel and you'll be able to communicate effectively. The six is all blue. Blue deals with the throat chakra. So that's really telling me that y'all going to have a very fluid conversation, very stimulating, very deep. And it's going to be all love. Like you're going to know this is my person. This is my wish fulfillment. And we got Oshun singing fall back. So this person may have fell back in the past. Like they fell back from the connection. Maybe because they was feeling those feelings of love so long, so strongly. And maybe it, it, it scared them. If this is someone you know. But with Oshun, I'm getting a sense that this person is very attracted to you. Like this person finds you to be very beautiful, very attractive, very... Um, very powerful, very magnetic. The connection is just really strong with you. And it's something that they cannot deny. Give me one moment. Let me make sure my little kitty king isn't locked in the room. My bad. I thought she was locked up in the room. But yeah, so this person definitely strong connection, strong attraction, chemistry, synergy, all of that is going to be off the chain. It's going to be off the Richter, I heard. Off the Richter. I don't even know what that is. Is that like a scale or something like 
Maybe that's a scale for the weather, the Richter. I don't know. I just heard that in my mind. I'm not familiar with that term. So we have 71 health. So this is absolutely somebody who's like up in their head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is somebody up in their head because 71, that reduces to eight. Remember we had the 888. Eight, eight. <laughs> so the person that you are manifesting, they're like mentally anguished because this purple is letting me know that this is somebody that's up in their head. Purple deals with the crown chakra. The seven deals with the crown chakra. The one is this person needing to ground themselves, you know, needing to find find you know get rooted you know get grounded so that means they're up in their head they're in la la land you know what i'm saying and so it's like causing a lot of mental anguish this is self-imposed of course this is somebody that's like really it's literally self-imposed and i'm just going to expound on these and then with intuition you can't make this up didn't i say the two of you are very very strongly you know connected to one another two two is like you know the double high priestess energy high priest high priestess type of energy you know and so with that two, two, that's four. So there's a lot of um, love between the two of you. And there's a strong attraction as well. And someone is really up in their head because maybe this is someone who necessarily, they're not as forward. Maybe they're not as confident, which is why we had Oshun singing fall back. So they just fall back. They're not assertive. They don't assert themselves the way that they should. This is somebody that's very curious about you. So it's like they're just watching, you know, and, and, and remember, I was hearing the term curiosity kills the cat. So maybe this person's, you know, in their head thinking like you'll shoot them, you know, you'll shoot them down. You won't give them a shot. You won't give them a chance because this is somebody that's really like attracted to you. And maybe because they see you as this beautiful, radiant being. You know, they may see you as someone that's like, you know, maybe you ain't gonna, you're not going to be interested. You might be out of their league. Maybe they have the wrong perspective or the wrong perception of you because you shine so bright, because you just glowing and growing, because you've transformed. You've gone through some sort of startling metamorphosis. So this person's like really anguishing. This is self-imposed, though. They just need to shoot their shot. Right now we have Foxy Brown. I can't. And so this person really thinks that they can't. You know what I'm saying? They're telling themselves they can't. So this is, again, you know, self-deception, you know, because I get a sense of like, you know, that 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 eight of swords type of energy whenever I see this card, you know. So I feel this is more speaking to the mental health of someone. And when they're saying I can't, that's that that's the first step. You know, that's the, the 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 first thing they're doing wrong is saying what they can't do. So if you tell yourself you can't do something, then you absolutely undoubtedly won't be able to do it. And so that's the first step is they need to stop saying I can't and start saying I will. They need to start asserting themselves with intuition. I feel like you know this. You're picking up on someone's apprehension or someone's fear. You know what I'm saying? Someone's intimidation. So maybe that's why they could be communicating with you telepathically. But there's a lot of love here. There's two, two. That's double numbers. That means you and this person are mirroring one another. This person knows you're psychic and they know that you could pick up on their energy. So they could be sending you messages, you know, through telepathic means or through some sort of um, psychic means. Because remember, you also have the six here. So that shows me that this person is very much aware of how to you know, transmit those messages to you and you're picking them up because your intuition is sharp, beloved. You are very sensitive. So this makes you even more well-rounded, grounded, um, very solid, stable, strong and powerful. You know, you're owning your power. And it's because you've learned, like I said, to, to trust your intuition. Whereas in the past, you may not have. You may have just kind of like, you know, just went with the flow of things, gave people the benefit of the doubt. You know, you never trusted your own intuition or that gut instinct. And it landed you in a lot of situations that could have been avoided. So you've learned. That's what personal growth was. You had to learn through trial and error. You had to learn through falling. And now that you've fallen, you can you have gotten back up. And so with this intuition, you're not doing nothing if it doesn't sit right in your spirit, if it doesn't sit right in your gut, if you're gut instinct or if that gumption is saying no then it's a no for you so let's see how does this person scorpios attract and feel about our beloved scorpios and we got nature here so they love that you're very down to earth and grounded what did i say about the grounded word this 37 is time out so they feel you're very distant maybe guarded maybe you've 
you know, kind of very protective of your energy. You know, you're in a protective bubble. You've created a safe space. You don't just let anybody in. It's like they got to go through the defense, you know, through the defense of um, <laughs> they got to go through your 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 your, your strict security uh, guard before they can get to you. It's like you have a guard up. You know what I'm saying? With this time out, that 37, it's like you may have put them in time out. You know, they feel like you may have like kind of ghosted them even. But they now have some sort of epiphany, like they looking at you like you are like shining, you know, like you're a source of, of, you know, information. You know, maybe they look at you as your wise, you know, they see that you've come full circle. You've come out of something, something very painful, but they see the wisdom. I see this purple, you know, that's that same color of the crown. And then I see the yellow, which is the color of the sun that shines within the crown, uh, the solar plexus. And both of those represent power, strength. And so this person knows not only are you, uh, you know, very strong physically, you know, but also emotionally, mentally. It's like you, you're, you're emotionally intelligent. You're psychically, you know, uh, sensitive. You're also mentally, like you're intelligent. You're worldly, you're informed. Whatever time you took to yourself, like this gives me like hermit mode energy also. It's like it, 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 it served you right, whatever this time was, because it's like they're, they're now seeing you, you know, in this whole new light. Like you've gone through some rebirth of sorts, you know, it's like something about you has, has changed profoundly. And we have the 74 nature on the bottom of the deck. So I really feel like, you know, this is how this person sees you as someone that really is grounded. Somebody who's also has grown like this connection could grow to something deeper, to something more profound. And so we have gang star words I manifest. So this person knows like you're a master manifester. What's hidden in the energy is you're about to manifest something that you've spoken into the ether, something that you've written down in your manifestation journal, something that you have asked the divine for, whatever the petitions were. It's like you're a master manifester because with this nature card, it's showing me that something is coming into fruition. With the 74, that's like, that's the 11, that's a portal. So it's like something's coming in, that wish fulfillment is coming in. And it's coming in the form of your divine feminine or masculine, because 74 reduces to 11. 11 to me in the way that I you know, channel the messages is always related. That number 11 is related to the divine feminine, the divine masculine, in addition to the number three and number four, which is the empress and emperor. But this 11 is also associated with that twin flame, you know, like a counterpart, a, a cosmic companion, a spiritual union that's about to take place. And I feel like this connection is just going to feel so natural like the way that you connect with this person the way that you two communicate the way that you two share each other share space you know is is just going to come off very natural it's not going to be uh um it's not going to feel um it's not going to feel like it's 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 forced and with words i manifest you manifested this that's what you wanted. You was looking for someone that was just going to, you know, fit. That was just going to fit, fit perfectly. You didn't know what exactly. You just wanted someone that you knew when you saw them. It was like, that's the one. This is the one. And I feel like they, they're going to feel the same way about you because you both have this sense of being very much in a space where you love yourselves. And when you love yourself, that means you know your worth, you know what you're deserving of. And so you don't settle. You don't settle for anything less than. And so when the two of you come together, it's just going to be like all our natural. It's just going to be a very natural, effortless connection. Synergy is just going to be too real. So this is beautiful. So let's see what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios. May I have a message of love and of light. What's hidden in the energy? All right. So we got a couple of messages here. So let me get this card. How can I get this card? 
Thank you, spirit. It's like, just pick it up. All right. So we got how many cards? We got one. And then we got, we got another one. So look at that. Personal growth. I can't make this up. This also showed up in the pre-shuffle or in the split. So we have it again. Two cards that showed up are coming out in the reading. So that's letting you know. Someone is growing or someone has grown. Growing pain, leveling up, knowing your worth. Like I said, now this all purple card, you're attracting someone that's a like mind. You're attracting someone that knows they're going to have to meet you where you are. And they don't even have to know that. They're just going to do that because they're on the same vibration and wavelength as you. Leadership also flew out. So this is also you attracting because you're in this energy of strength. Because you're in this energy of determination, willpower, you're speaking your truth, you're standing in your power, you're strong, you're courageous, you're wise, you're expressing yourself. You've evolved into this person, very powerful person, very confident person. And that's what makes you far more attractive as well, because you're owning this power. You are now a leader. You're not following anyone else you're leading that's powerful Scorpios I love that in the bottom of the deck we have domestic harmony so you're attracting someone that's going to bring you the bliss that I was talking about that beautiful happy house happy spouse that happily ever after that twin flame yin yang soulmate kindred spirit cosmic companion whatever you want to call it this is what it leads to that's another 10 so this is coming full circle. This is something that you've been waiting for, something you've been really waiting for. You've been waiting for the real thing. You haven't been waiting for the fakes and the frauds and the youngins to come through and waste your time. Like you've been patiently waiting. Remember, we saw the patience card number two. So it's like you knew it was coming because you was the high priestess and you felt the energy shifting. You felt things around you changing. And so you pivoted. You did what you had to do to make the adjustments and moderations, but you also were open and receptive. You were trusting what your intuition was telling you. And that's why you have personal growth here because you learned to do this. You didn't always do it. That's why you had to take a time out, a wusa, to lick your wounds, to learn because you had some painful endings. You had to take some time out to heal thyself. And that's how you began to learn to love thyself. And that's why you're now in this power of being a leader, because now you're not allowing anyone to get past your defenses, to waste your time, to toy with your emotions, to deceive you, backstab you, or try to look for opportunities to snuff you, or preying on your downfall. You, you got rid of the, all of the fakes and phonies, because that's what you had to grow from. You had to, you had to go through the growing pains. And the growing pains are the experiences when you are coming into the awareness of who the snakes and fugazis are. You had to get bit. And right now we have Nas, and the name of this is called War. So you was under spiritual warfare, and you didn't even realize it. And that's why you took the time out to go within, because you knew the answers you seek are always found within. And so you took the time out away from everything and everyone everything and every one and what you learned was the ones that didn't check in on you their silence was loud and that's when you started to make the necessary cuts that's when you started to purge people that's when you started to get rid of the fakes and the fugazis whether they was family friends colleagues neighbors baby daddies baby mamas wives husbands whoever it was they got the axe, chop, chop, suey, protect your neck, Wu-Tang style. And now you've grown. You've grown to learn to trust your intuition and to never waver from that, to trust it. So now that you're coming into this beautiful relationship bliss, because remember, we had relationship change. For some of y'all, if you were in relationships, that relationship status changed to single. Because you was dealing with somebody that was playing games, somebody that could have potentially had some sort of addictions, drugs, drinking, sex, lying, whatever it was they was addicted to doing and they was doing too much of it because we know too much of anything is not good for you. 
And I said drinking and drugs and, you know, just being in all that devilishment. We got Cypress Hill singing, I want to get high. Maybe that's all somebody you was dealing with was doing, was getting high. You know, maybe there was energy vampires getting, getting high off your energy and vibration. But you purged it. You got rid of it. You took the necessary time out to heal thyself. This is something most people don't do. Most people refuse to do the work. They get out of one toxic relationship and guess what they do? Go back to the dating app and go look for somebody else's lives to mess up. And then the cycle continues and continues and then the generational curses continue to just grow. You took that time out because you was like, look, I'm stopping this today. I'm getting rid of all of this toxic-ish today. I'm cutting myself free from all these cords, yokes, hex, whatever the hell. I'm getting rid of the, the energy, all of that, that, that energy blocks. I'm getting rid of it. 45, 45, that's 9, 9. 9, 9 equals 9. So that was you finally putting up the 9 of wands. That's like, okay, I'm done. Gracefully bowing out. And now you're grown. Now you're the leader. You're the boss. Because you've learned to assert yourself. You've learned to go after what you want. And so what we have here on the bottom of the deck is domestic harmony. So you're coming into a very beautiful connection. Like I said, a very synergetic connection. This is a chemistry. This is something that you will feel. You know, words don't even have to be spoken with this type of connection. Because the love is felt. This is green on the inside of that symbol. So there's no words that's even necessary. The synergy, the chemistry, the energy between the two of y'all, others on the outside looking in is going to be able to feel the love between the two of you. You ever look at a picture of two people or see two people together and you're just like, wow, they love each other. That's the type of connection that you have coming in. And I just saw 46, 46, 10, 10. So 10, 10 tells me done, done, fin. Completions of cycles, something that's destined to come in is coming this is a destiny type of love this is a destiny type of love thing that's coming in and we have right now um shaba ranks and maxi priest and this is called house call so yeah house call domestic harmony that would be someone you would reside with so this person is absolutely going to be you know visiting you perhaps coming and visiting you you'll be visiting them there'll be a lot of time shared in one another's personal place uh spaces you know like i said you're going to share this personal space with one another so they could be coming and you know spending the night with you or vice versa but i do see like there's going to be a lot of a lot of connection wow oh i love that so what is the outcome oh wow check this out bam babies i can't make this up you manifested it this was meant to be you got 888 here this is a number of manifestation and abundance. I open up the reading telling y'all today is a great day for you to do some money rituals, abundance rituals, manifestation rituals. You know what I'm saying? And you got 888 here. The two cards that I was chiming in on in the beginning of the deck came out for the reading. So this was absolutely your message. There's no mistakes made. What's meant for you is meant for you. And you have surrender. So some of y'all need to surrender to this if you are guarded. I understand the reasons why, but the divine is saying you could trust. You could trust that you know better now, that you're not going to go backwards and you're not going to fall into the same traps. First and foremost, because you're too wise for that now. It's like once you learn something, you don't go back and make the same mistake because you've leveled up. So this is telling you, like, trust your intuition. We just saw 10, 10. This is 10. So everything that you've experienced, is come, you've come full circle. This 10 reduces to one. Look forward to the new beginning that you have. There's a beautiful new beginning. There's a beautiful start to a new voyage, a new life. The doors of personal healing and happiness are opening up for you, beautiful Scorpios. And you need to walk through them and trust the process. This is amazing. I love this reading. So we got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So somebody is going to open up and express their feelings. This is somebody that really has been kind of holding back. Remember, we saw fall back or, or we heard fall back playing by Oshun. So this is someone that's truly attracted to you, but they just fall back. They kind of play it, you know, play the cool. They, you know, they try to play it cool like they 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 not press like they. And, and it's because that's how you come off unbothered because you're not <laughs> you're not anymore. Maybe. Somewhere in your distant past, <laughs> you may have been, but you are no longer. 
And so maybe that's something that this person is trying to get used to is like this new you. Because maybe in the past, maybe you were interested in them and maybe they weren't interested in you. Maybe there was unrequited love type of dynamic if this is someone you know. But if this is someone you've never met, this is going to be someone that you're going to have really dope conversations with heart to heart conversations. I really feel like y'all are going to open up to one another and really, ex you know, really share your life story with this person. You know, her story, his story. You're going to share your stories. So we got on the split soulmate. Can't make this up. So you and this person are soulmates. Like I said, with that six love that was telling me that there was some sort of spiritual connection between you and this person. It was it was deeper than just, oh, you bump into this person is, you know, some sort of attraction. And most attraction is sexual, you know, or physical. But this is more of like, you know, a spiritual connection. Like you're going to be attracted to their mind attracted to their spirit, their soul, you know, to who they are, the way they think, you know, so this spiritual connected it, connection is saying, yes, this is your soulmate. So this is your soulmate because this is someone you manifested. And this could very well be someone that you, like I said, knew in a past life, you know, and what they say in this song is your body can't lie to me. You know what I'm saying? And so if your body can't lie, that means this person's familiar with your body. They know your body. You know what I'm saying? They know your body inside and out. I got something stuck in my tooth. Pardon me. But yeah, let's go ahead. Cut this deck. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. We got romantic feelings. That's why the divine was telling you surrender. Open yourself up. You deserve love, man. Like you deserve it. You take you have taken the necessary time out. You've done what you needed to do to heal. So you're not coming into anything wounded. And I feel this person you're attracting has also done their work. They're not wounded either. So the two of you, look at this. So we got playfulness. So playfulness just showed up. Didn't I say this was going to make you elated? This connection was going to make you really elated and happy and overjoyed. And that's exactly why. Because you two are going to play. You two are going to just bring out, you know, the youthfulness in one another. You're just going to allow one another to just be who you are, who you are. You're just going to enjoy one another's time, joy, spending time with one another. There's going to be lots of laughter. There's going to be a lot of playing like y'all. I could just see two people just chasing each other around the house and cracking up laughing. I even see your children getting involved in it. Like I just see there's just this happy house, like a lot of laughter, a lot of cheer, a lot of good Good times, you know, beautiful. Express your love and romantic feelings. Didn't I say this person was trying to hold back? Remember, we had fall back playing by Oshun. This person that we're about to clarify the six love for, it says express your love. This person has been trying to hold back the feelings that they can no longer hold because they about to explode. They about to implode, let alone explode. This person been holding back. And I feel like it's because they don't know they can't get a read on you. You know, and I was picking up the word if off the Richter scale, like, you know, what I'm saying like it's like their feelings are just it's growing. It's intensifying. And so we have Meek Mill featuring Rick Ross, Jay-Z. This is called What's Free. So it's like they, they want to free themselves of this burden of holding this truth from you. I feel like they really want to hold this truth and it's like they, they're going to. Maybe they're afraid because if they express their truth and express that they have these feelings. I just hear fighting, you know, like they're fighting it. Because it's called what's beef. And beef is something that like if you got beef, what you going to do if you got beef? You, you all going it's going to lead to an argument and a fight. So it's like this person is fighting these feelings. They're fighting, expressing this love. You got six love here for the person you're attracting. And it says express your love and then romantic feelings. This is what they feel. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And so they're fighting with themselves. It's like they got the angel and the devil on their shoulder telling them, nah, don't do it. Maybe they need to get rid of people around them that could be in their ear. 
and they need to trust their intuition. That's probably why they're sending you messages intuitively and telepathically. They could just be in two minds, you know. Like I said, we had the I can't plan by total earlier. And so they're almost giving up before they even try because they're telling themselves, well, I can't do it. I, what if? And, and what if did this? And what if this happened? And what if she say this? Or what if he does this? It's like they already like telling the story before they even dive in and see what happened. <laughs> it's like they already like canceling the situation out before they even see. It could lead to a honeymoon, which means commitment, marriage. I feel like they're going to take that leap of faith, though. They're not going to stay mute for a long time because your manifestation is here. The outcome is your manifestation is manifested. <laughs> it's manifested, beloveds. Like, you know. So let's see what's coming and going out going on for my beloved Scorpios. Let's cut this deck, beloved Scorpios. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on. All right. I got to do that over because I get my cards a bang, bang, boogie. They got to free themselves. That's probably why they could be beefing with somebody else. You know, maybe they beefing with someone else or maybe they just need to free themselves mentally because we did see that uh, health card. And I was saying that was giving me the energy of because it was uh, 71 and that's like the eight of swords. So this love, why is the six love here for the person Scorpio is attracting? And we got chemistry. I cannot make this up if I wanted to. <laughs> Chemistry, baby. The chemistry, the synergy. Didn't I say that? Yin yang, twin flame, soulmate. Like, come on now. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. This person cannot fight these feelings. That's why we have what's beef. Because they like, damn, how, they trying to fight the feelings. You can't fight this. You know what I'm saying? If you know anything about chemistry, then you know energy cannot be destroyed. It is only transferred. This person feels something so strongly for you. So strongly. And they cannot deny it. And this is not just any type of, of, of love. This is a connection that could be, like I said, a twin flame, a soulmate. These are words unspoken. This person hasn't spoken to some of y'all. Y'all probably haven't heard from this person, I will say, six weeks, six months, six years. Maybe you haven't spoken to this person you know what I'm saying? In that that amount of time. And this is something that is like really pulling and tugging on this person mentally. Like they are anguishing and agonizing over this situation. Because all they see in their mind's eye is you. All they think of is you. I only think of you on two occasions. Uh, what? That's day and night. Uh. Hey, I go for broke if I can't be with you, cause only you can make it right. This person cannot get right, cause they got left behind. <laughs> cause you left them behind, beloveds. If this is someone that you know from this lifetime, this could just be from a former life. But we have love yourself first. That's what you did. That's what you did. You walked away. You said, pardon my back. You chucked up the deuces. You asked that person, those people, that situation off because you had to love you first. Self-love makes you more attractive. That's why now they realize they can't live without you. Like I said, silence is loud. And now that you're no longer around, it's like your absence is heavily felt. It's like they didn't realize it was going to affect them this long, this, this long, this much at all. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And it's because this chemistry, like I said, you cannot destroy chemistry. So you walking away only intensified this feeling, this emotion. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This person has absolutely been watching you transform and grow. That's why I said y'all have a secret admirer. And remember, we had Gangstar playing earlier, words I manifest. So this person has watched you become that master manifester. And a master manifester is that alchemist. That's the magi. That's the divine feminine, divine masculine. So they know how to transmute pain, turn it into power. They know how to co-create with source. They've watched you level up and transform like they've watched you. And this is why now they're like, damn, they're, they're, they can't get enough. And so right now we have Bobby Humphrey and she's singing Harlem River Drive. 
So this person may be just like driving around, just kind of thinking about you. If they have any type of um, photos of you, this person could just be like really looking, you know, at your photos, looking through your photo albums. But I feel like this person is always kind of like thinking of you. I just get a sense of this person really having you in their mind's eye. And the name of this album is called Blacks and Blue. So this really is telling me that, you know, they, they're, they're really sad. There's, there's hurt there. There's hurt in this disconnect. There's hurt in this separation. You know, even if this is a past love, this person's hurting to come back into union with you. And they know the reason why you left is because you had to love you because they wasn't loving you enough. They weren't playful enough. They wasn't showing you the, the attraction or the attention. They weren't being attentive enough and you gave them, you know, you gave them the pause. <laughs> you put that line in the sand and said, don't cross here. So let's see. Why is time out here for the how this person Scorpios attracting feels about our beloved Scorpios? Why is time out here for how this person Scorpios attracting feels? Thank you, spirit. And look what we have. Release your ex. <laughs> That's what you took the time out to do. To muster up the strength, courage, and wisdom to release. Didn't I say you had to... Ax everything, purge, clean, clear, cleanse, release. You had to break yourself free from yokes, hexes, spells, people, circumstances, mindset, ideologies, behaviors. You knew the time was now because you reached your wit's end. It was like, I'm done. Like you had to take that time out. You assess things and you was able to see things clearly. Your higher self was like, let it go. Think I better let it go. Looks like another love TKO. And this is absolutely like a love TKO because spirit was telling you, release your ex. Something was toxic. This was the lesson you had to learn. This is what led to the growing pain. This was what led to you leveling up. To trusting your intuition now because you had an ex that was toxic. This person was holding you back and anchoring you. Emotionally, mentally, physically, financially, secrets, lies, deception, all types of fuckery going on. Pardon my language. But release your ex. This is what your angels and ancestors, your higher self was telling you. Your angels, you got angel wings. You were and you are, not were past tense, but are present tense. Like you are an earth angel. And so whatever that lesson was that you experienced, it was preordained. That's why I say you don't go through anything. You grow through the experience. And I feel like you grew. And you had to clear your energy. You had to release. You had to let go of everything that wasn't serving you. Whether they were people, whether they were family, friends, colleagues, like I said. Whether it was situations, circumstances, some of y'all packed up and moved out of your hometowns and moved somewhere you've never been before. Maybe some place you visited once or twice and was like, this is a cute little space. And you just decided to up and move away from everybody you knew. And that was the new start for you. That was the way that you was able to re repair and heal and grow your strength and become more spiritually aligned and in alignment. And find that balance. And that's how you ultimately led. It led you to this personal growth. To you growing. To ascension. To elevating. And now your soulmate. Your real soulmate. And not that toxic person from the past. That was only brought into your life to teach you lessons. But now your soulmate can come in. That's why the divine was like. Look now you can let your guard down. Now you can say. Enter. <laughs> you may enter. <laughs> Because you've grown. Now you're trusting your intuition with the seven. You know, so now this person is coming in. Now this person, we got the soulmate on the bottom of the deck. Now that person can have an easy landing, if you will. This is beautiful, Scorpios. Why is personal growth here for what's hidden in the energy? We have a message of love and of light. Why is personal growth here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? We have a message of love and of light thank you spirit and so what we have is we have separation so the separation is you and this person like I said time apart from your partner is on the horizon so you and this person this is what's absolutely you know happening behind the scenes 
someone, namely you and your twin flame or your soulmate, you two are separated. It's like you two are not in this union together. And this is how you were able to grow because you needed to be separate from this person in order to really see yourself, in order to really learn yourself and understand yourself uh, separate from that person. So now that this person is also going through the same thing, maybe your person that you're attracting could be in a relationship and they need to separate from their person or whoever their karmic is because we have released your ex in your energy, how they feel about you. But what's hidden is you have personal growth and then you have separation. So your person is also needing because separate is also like separating is releasing. It's also a form of release, letting go of something, getting away from something so that you can kind of clear your mind and your energy and see, can I, can I like do this on my own? How do I feel away from that person, that entity to see if you can do it alone? And so it could have been a codependent situation. But this person is taking this time away and what they're going to do is they're going to grow. There's some personal growth that's going to take place during separation. And what they're going to come to realize is this attraction, is the chemistry, is the love that they have for you and not for the person they're separating from. So whoever this is, if this person is in a union, they're going to have this epiphany. And it's because their angels are working with them. Remember, with the six, the love, that's like the lovers. And there's always an angel figure overseeing a couple. There's a masculine and feminine on that card in traditional tarot. And the same is happening here. So there's this person here and there are angels there. They're telling them separate so that you could free your energy. Get away from that energy that's keeping you stuck and stagnant and in a low vibration. And what's going to happen is there's going to be some sort of growth. They're going to have clarity. They're going to start receiving the downloads, the divine interventions, transmissions, and they're going to start to see things clearer. So someone is separating from someone else. And what's going to happen is they're going to come into union. And we have De La Soul. It's like that. So they're going to see how things really are separate from someone that could have been an anchor to them energetically or some sort of energy vampire or leech, or parasite, or just a toxic person. They're separating. We have on the bottom of the deck, wedding. So with this leadership is next, you're coming into union with someone who's gonna be another, um, they're gonna match your vibration, match your fly. This is someone who's also a leader. This is someone who's also about their business. This is someone who's also emotionally intelligent, also has a, a very particular love language. There's pink on the inside of this card. So they have love for self as well. They have a love of self. They practice self care. And that's why you two attract one another because you two speak one another's love language. It says this situation involves marriage. I feel that if there is marriage in your future, this is going to be like a power couple situation, like a spiritual partnership. The two of you are so powerful, separate of one another. When you come into union, it's like it's going to be it's going to be even more powerful. You know what I'm saying? You're 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 powerful alone, I should say, not separate, but alone. And when you come to union, it's going to be that's why I pick up like a, a power couple or some sort of spiritual partnership where the two of you may even like get into a spiritual uh, career, you may partner up and, and, and serve, you know, the collective. This is powerful. I love this. So why is leadership? Why is leadership here? This could also say that, you know, if somebody is married, this, this is going to lead to some sort of separation, like divorce, perhaps. Somebody could be getting a divorce, coming to the epiphany that they want to, you know, free themselves of someone. And with it's like that, it's like they're realizing that that's how they really feel. Like it's it's really like that. That's what they're really feeling. That's what the nudge is. You know, they've been trying hard in the connection and it's not leading to anything but heartache and pain. So why is leadership here for um, what's hidden? And so we have this could be the one. So someone knows that this connection could be the one. Someone knows that you are the one. Someone, some of you all know that this person coming in is the one. 
but it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. And this could be in this lifetime or a former lifetime. I kept picking up former lifetime. And so with this could be the one, somebody absolutely may not have um, looked at someone in that light. I was picking up unrequited love earlier. And so this could have been a situation where somebody could have been rejected because maybe someone was just like, you know, like they didn't feel that that person was on their frequency or, or was a good match for them at the time. But the separation and the time apart, it didn't, it didn't cause their feelings to diminish. If anything, they intensified because they still feel this chemistry. They still feel a chemistry and a synergy and a love for you. So they're now in their head like, damn, Scorpio could be the one because I'm still, you know, even though I've been separated from this person that I was in a partnership, I'm not thinking about them. I'm thinking about that past person. I'm thinking about Scorpio. I'm not thinking about the ex that I just, you know, separated from. I'm thinking about Scorpio, somebody I haven't seen in in nine years, eight years. Somebody I haven't seen in six years, six months, eight weeks, eight you know what I'm saying? It's like this person is really like, dang, they're pondering now. And look what's around them. The angels. The angels are hitting them over the head with the truth <laughs> and telling them, go shoot your stop, your shot and stop playing. Stop playing with this. We got reconciliation here. You're reconciling with someone. It says someone from your past is returning. We just had you already met the romantic partner you seek. So this person's returning. This is someone you've manifested, someone that's manifested you. This is your kindred soul, your kindred spirit. This is a twin flame. This is someone you're meant to be with. This is a past life love. And it's written in the stars that you two are supposed to be together. We have radiant children and this is called go left. So something could have went left. Maybe this person, like I said, they made the wrong decision. They went left and they should have went right. You know what I'm saying? Really, the saying is, when you was getting right, <laughs> they got left. <laughs> but with reconciliation, I see here that this is someone that you are familiar with. Even if you're not familiar with this, this could be past life love. When you meet this person, you're going to feel like you know this person. Connection is going to be very powerful. This is going to be a very powerful connection and we have worth waiting for. So this is really chiming in on that same card that we saw earlier. Patience, patience, young grasshopper. Good things take time to create. And so divine timing is at work in your love life. I can't make this up. That's what it says right there. And that's literally what I've been saying throughout the reading is the timing could not have been right in the beginning. When you met this person, there was something off about the connection. And it could have been this. You both were probably in, you know, karmic relationships because you have released your ex. They have separation from your ex is necessary or from your partner is necessary. So they could still be entangled in a karmic relationship. But what they're going to do is they're going to grow the same as you have. They're going to grow from this separation, from this time apart from that partner, the same time out that you had to take from your ex, which led to your growth, to your evolution, to your wise dome. So it's all worth waiting for. That's what the divine is telling you to be patient. You and this person are going to go off and, and have that time to build, to connect, to, re, to recapture the love. You know, you're going to disconnect from the rest of the world because this connection is one that you two are going to really you know, build the, the, the relationship up on a very solid foundation. So there's going to be lots of communication, lots of conversations, you know, about your plans, your future, what your dreams are, hopes are, you know, this is beautiful, man. I'm loving this. I am loving it. Oh man, this is gorgeous. So let's see what we got. We're going to post some messages from the Gilded Tarot. Look what we have on the bottom of the deck. Can't make this up. The Ten of Cups. So this is the epitome of everything I've been saying. Happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after. This is someone that's going to give to you and your cup is going to runneth over. This is somebody that is going to make you feel excited. You're going to be very radiant because the name of this 
uh, group is called Radiant Children. And so I just feel like this is a very radiant and loving and vivacious connection. Someone's up in their head. Didn't I say that I saw the Eight of Swords with that 71? Up in their head about what? This love connection. They got a love thing for you, baby. They got a love Jones. This chemistry can't be fake. You can't fake chemistry, energy. You can't fake those emotions. And even though this person may try to deceive themselves, when they close their eyes, all they see is you. When they open their eyes, all they see is you. You know what I'm saying? If they're taking a drive, all they think of is you. And this person should have got right, and that's why they went left. They got left. And so now this is this, you know, ruminating, pining, a lot of anxiety, stress. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on for my beloved Scorpios. And so I see the Knight of Swords. So there is going to be some, or the Knight of Wands. So that's what happened. They was trying to be a player, play a player from the Himalaya. You know, very impulsive and flighty and unreliable. You couldn't trust them. That's why I was saying somebody could have been like, you know, not interested in a relationship. Maybe they was non-committal. Maybe they wanted their cake, eat it too. See that? I can't make this up. Seven of Swords with the Knight of Wands. Self-deception. They was deceiving themselves. And this person is sitting here like, you know, with a stank face. But they the ones... You know, that that they got caught because they got they got very sloppy. You know what I'm saying? It's like they was they was just like all over the place. But look at that, that that volcano erupting behind them. So this could have been their main motivation and goal is just like just fulfilling their needs, you know, their lustful needs and desires. Because remember, we had. um We had. um Dang, I forgot what it was. Oh, man, I hate when I can't remember the songs. But with that, that combustion, you know, it's just like, you know, something, somebody probably got burned. You know, like that, that, that could have been like they got burned, like either like burned by another person or maybe they had to go to the clinic and get some things worked out. We got Janet Jackson. That's the way love goes. So this is like, you know, you reap what you sow almost. You want to be a player. Eventually, the player is going to get played. And that could have been what happened. You know, this person was running around breaking hearts and um, they thought it was never going to they were never going to meet that fate until they did. So now this um, now you got the king of wands here. So this is somebody very passionate. Like I said, it's almost like they have like, um, you know, this trigger like they could be very nasty, you know, because they they really think the rules apply to everyone but themselves. So they think they could just do what they want to do. But you got the victory on that ass. You know, you kept it moving. You know, and this is why now everybody's looking at you, you know, very differently because it's like they've watched you, you, you know, you, you came from the bottom and now you're here. <laughs> Literally like you, you, you back and better than ever. And you're in your power. There goes the emperor here. So somebody has been watching your growth because we literally saw the knight of wands. Then we saw the king of wands. Now we see the emperor. And so this is truly like a growth. You know, there's this leveling up. So if you're masculine, you've really been evolving. And, and this person has been taking note. This player is seeing you now in your power. This is what a leader embodies. You know, a leader is that emperor, that empress. They call the shots. You know, they make things happen. You know, they don't take orders. They give them. And so with this, this player, this led to a tower moment. You know, everything crumbled and fell. Everything was destroyed. And guess who had to pick up the pieces to rebuild? You did. This is a very painful ending. Look at the tower with the three of swords. That's why you had to take time out. That's why the divine was like, look, release your ex. Because all they trying to do is destroy you. It's like how you go through a tower and then you got the three of swords. It's like they, it, it was just like an, a one, one betrayal after the next. But this is what led to the growing pain. That's why I said you don't go through anything, Scorpios. You grow through it. You transmuted the pain, turned it into power. You became the alchemist. You was also dealing with somebody that was a master manipulator, playing games with your heart, with your mind, your emotions, until you said, not anymore. I'm done. All right? I'm done, done. <laughs> I'm in control of this ship now. I'm the sole controller of my destiny. And what you do is not going to make me or break me either way. And we got Janet Jackson. That's the way love goes. You learned that, you know, love was an inside job. You had to love yourself. So there goes the temperance, patience, young grasshopper. Heal thyself. 
ground thyself. Rejuvenate thy soul, thy spirit. This is where you learned to find balance, to find emotional equilibrium, to start trusting your intuition. You see the water in the cup, you see the fire. So this was about balancing both your emotions, your passions, and not just allowing people to speak things, but also trusting your intuition. And here you are the soul controller. Temperance is all about tempering oneself. And now this leads to you making a decision to move in a completely different direction. To go and find your peace of mind, your salvation, your safe haven. And you have this page of cups, an opportunity, a new love offer coming. And remember with patience here, you're working on yourself. You don't even know this is coming because you're so busy being busy. <laughs> and this page of cups is looking right at you. This is a new love offer. This is a new offer of love. This could even be an apology. And so we have Patrice Russian, settle for my love. So somebody's coming in wanting to know if you're going to settle for their love. This is somebody that really wants you to settle for their love as well. This person wants to rush in, but they're trying to play it cool. They're trying to be poised. As I heard Russian, so... That's her last name. So bottom of the deck is clarifying 88 abundance and playfulness. And we have the four of pentacles. So somebody that's been holding on to you. Somebody that you have some sort of roots with. Somebody you're familiar with, like I said, past life love or somebody you've met in this reality. This is somebody that's been holding on to you strongly. This is somebody that you refused to settle for in the past. And now they're coming in lighthearted. And they're coming in because you've been very guarded. But they've been holding on to you and holding on to this vision in their own mind of this connection and where it can go. They was trying to play hard to get in the past, trying to be a player, playerette. And they was definitely thinking that you was just going to settle for their bare minimums, like whatever little scraps that they was giving you and throwing you at the time until you, you said, nah. For some of you all, if this is someone that you was dealing with in the past, that you're familiar with, someone was really like a playboy or a playgirl, like they had a lot of options. Maybe they was out there on the dating scene and you were unaware. But this is absolutely someone that knows now you're no longer settling. You know, this person was absolutely like they were forced to look at, you know, some of the choices that they made and they realized they were settling. Maybe a relationship they could currently be in, which they have to separate from. They're realizing they're settling. Just like the song is saying. So let's see. Why is love? Why is love and chemistry here for the person Scorpio is attracting? Why is love, six love and chemistry here for the person Scorpio is attracting? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have the two of pentacles juggling. Didn't I say that it had options, choices? And so we have the page of cups. This is somebody that may want to come in and apologize. This is somebody who's also like, you know, because there's two dragons and that dragon... Um, that's duality because there's two. And so I do feel like this is somebody that has been learning. You know, they, they, they've been learning to look at things from a different perspective. Dragons represent wisdom because they, they, they can, um, they've mastered each element. They can, they can fly, so they master air. They can go into the waters, so they master the, you know, the, the water element. They also, you know, they can walk on ground, so they master earth, and they can also deal with the fire element. And so this is a very energy of, like, someone who has grown, um, you know, this is like maturation, and they want to apologize. They want to offer an apology. I even see, you know, two butterflies there, which shows that there's been something that has transformed within this person. And what has transformed isn't the fact that they love you. It's the fact that they're aware that they haven't been honest about it. 
they haven't been honest about this love that they feel for you. This death card, this is your energy and we're clarifying how they feel about you. So you're releasing something because you realize that it's reached its expiration date. It's done. It's best for you to leave something alone. You got time out, release your ex and the death. So you've let something go. Finalize something. This is like the done done fin. This is a karmic completion. This is something coming full circle. But this also represents your transformation. You rising like the phoenix from the ashes, which is the epitome of personal growth or a growing pain. Death is the, that the great conduit of change. That's what you've done. Not only have you changed yourself and your own belief systems, ideologies, circumstances, conditions, but you've also caused someone else to change, to grow. And so what we have next is little Kim, and this is called, I know you see me. So this person is watching you, as I said, and like I said, you know, they're watching because that patience, like I said, that's number two, which is the high priestess. So, you know, they see your growth, you know, they're watching because you're highly sensitive, you're psychic, you're intuitive. They know you know they're watching, which is why they're ready to and prepared to come in. A little apprehensive and scared because they know you know the truth about them juggling. But the Six of Cups, which is what I was also saying with the Six Love, right here, their energy, it's right underneath. So this is what they, this is what they wanna do. They wanna return because they made a poor decision. You know, this is being torn between two, you know, juggling two, two things. And remember, they were settling whatever connection they were in. The divine is calling for them to separate from that because they're settling. You know, they're not where they truly desire to be or truly want to be. So what we have here is decisions, decisions. So this is someone being stuck at a fork in the road. I can't make this up. Remember, we have personal growth. So someone has to make the right decision in order for this situation to grow and evolve. And I feel like there's already a decision made. Someone's making a choice. There's this beautiful golden light beaming down from the heavens. It's as if someone realizes that they need to make their, their exit now. The separation is necessary so that they can grow, so that they can grow the way they need to, because when they're with someone, it's, it's like they're anchored and stuck and stagnant. It's a codependent type of situation. You got the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and the two of wands is here. So they're making a decision to follow their passions, to follow even the advice from the divine. Because they get in the downloads as well. This seven is obviously speaking to someone receiving divine intervention. That seven deals with the crown chakra. So they could be receiving messages via their dreams. Heavy dream activity. This person is resting. And it's like the angels are speaking to them. Beating them over the head. And with I know you see me. It's like the divine is saying, look, I know you see you know, me because I'm, I'm giving you these signs and synchronicities. I know you see it. Don't act blind to the truth. Don't be blind, you know, and with this two of pentacles, they're going to have to make a choice because if they're in two minds, they're going to have to make a choice. And that one, the right choice is going to lead to the personal growth. So let's see, why is leadership? This could be the one here for what's hidden. And we have the ace of pentacles. Can't make this up. The ace of pentacles. This is a uh, this is a tangible prospect. This is something that you can touch feel this is a blessing from the divine this is a new opportunity a new blessing this could be someone coming in proposing giving you a ring because remember we did see wedding and then now we have this could be the one and we saw leadership so someone's going to take the lead whoever this was that was being standoffish or falling back acting all reserved it's like now they're going to be more assertive they're going to come in they're going to come and they're going to claim what it is that they want because they see you. Now they see you. I see you came out in the former reading. But now they see you. They see that you are the one. Not this could be the one. They know you are the one. So with this Ace of Pentacles, they're coming in to make a, a sincere and genuine offer. 
And what we have is the queen of pentacles. They see your value. They didn't see your worth and value. They see your worth and value now. And they see you as someone that is very loving, nurturing, grounded, balanced. They see you living your truth like you're very successful. You, you, you don't need or want for anything, but it's like they still want to come in and give you the world. And we have, I want to be your man playing Bob Roger. I can't make this up. So this person is going to come in and they're going to let you know, like, I want to be your man. And not only do they want to be your man, they see that you're doing good. You know, you like, look, I'm doing good on my own. You know, whatever you trying to offer me, I, I, I make double that, triple that. But it's like all they want to offer you is stability. All they want to offer you is partnership. They want you to be their partner. They want, to, they want you to be their wife, their, their husband. This is what they're coming in to offer. This is what they want. This is what they truly desire. You're very stable on your own, very independent. And that's what makes you even more attractive because you're not sitting around with your hands looking like cups. This person is up in their head, ruminating, pining. This is suffering from insomnia. Can't get rest at night. What did I say about somebody dreaming about you? And look at this. They're thinking about how to do it. Planning, preparing, strategizing how to come in and make this offer. How to offer you this tangible prospect. Looking for this, this judgment. You know, looking for you to accept them back. To reconcile. This is somebody that has had a wake-up call. No doubt about it. And I feel like... I feel like it's because spirit... You know, they, they're, they're trusting their intuition now. They're receiving the downloads. They're receiving the little divine interventions. You know, they're, they're being more obedient. They're listening now. So let's see, why is eight manifestation? So this is someone you've been manifesting or they've been manifesting you. So why is manifestation reconciliation here? We just saw judgment. So you're going to have to make the judgment call, Scorpio. That is your energy. See that? The hermit mode. So someone is definitely seeking the answers within. And look at this. This flew out in reverse. They make their decision. But didn't I say someone was in two minds? So with this, this is what they're questioning. You know, do I go with the person I've been in the relationship with that I am separated from? Or do I come towards Scorpio because I know deep down that's the one I have the most chemistry, the most synergy, and the most love with? The divine is saying... That someone from your past is returning into your life. And this is someone that you've been manifesting. This is someone that's been manifesting you. They're going to have to make a judgment call. Or you're going to have to make a judgment call. This is somebody that's been growing and learning. They've been searching within for the answers pertaining this connection. This relationship. This is somebody that could have got bitten. Remember I was mentioning a snake. So they could have got bit by someone. Or maybe you learning your lessons. Because this is in the form of a number um, eight, which is the infinity symbol, which is this eight. And then you have 88. So this is someone that has absolutely discovered the truth about how they feel. It's like they had that aha, that epiphany. They see something very clearly. So they're illuminated. And this hermit is a wizard. So he knows the answers he's seeking are found within. And he does find it. And what he's going to do is he's going to go towards whatever it is. That he feels passionate about. And that's where they come in with reconciling. Asking for your forgiveness. Asking for this connection to be repaired. And we have the hanging man here. So yeah, there's a lot of deep reflection, introspection. But they realize your wish fulfillment. You're the one that's wish fulfillment. You're the one that makes them feel brand new. You fulfill them. Emotionally, mentally. So we got Mary J. Blige, changes I've been going through. So this person's been going through a lot. Same as you. Like I said, you're going to mirror the person that you are divinely connected with. It's going to be a mirroring. So you've gone through many changes. So it's only right that they're going to have the same type of experiences or something similar. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios. I'm going to pull some messages from my deck and then we're going to wrap it up. So let's see what we got. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sh 
I'm gonna just turn this. I'm turning this off right now. I'm gonna just turn. <laughs> Look what we got on the bottom of my deck. I cannot make this up, beloveds. Yin Yang. I've been saying this connection was a spiritual partnership. We even see it coming out with the love, with the angel romance cards. Everything I've said has come out. This is the yang to your yin, ladies, gents, or the yin to your yang. This is someone that you have a very strong spiritual connection with. And this is something that cannot be denied. Okay? That's why you have chemistry here and synergy. This is deeper than physical attraction. So let's see why. Why is um, abundance, playfulness, and the four of pentacles here. Thank you, spirit. Soul family, soul connection, soul tribe. So this is your soul tribe. This is your soul family. This is somebody that you are in a spiritual connection with, as I just literally said. And this is going to lead to emotional fulfillment. You're going to have a lot of laughter and there's going to be a lot of playfulness. And the reason why is because this person has not let go of you and this connection and what it means to them. They refuse to let you go. They've refused to let you go, which is why they stayed, you know, very abreast to what was going on with you. Watching you from a distance, from behind the scenes, keeping tabs. This is somebody that is absolutely a member of your soul tribe. Absolutely. No denying. It says fellowship, poor libation, socialize, get out there. So this person that's been in hermit mode, kind of hiding, you know, hiding from you, hiding from this connection, they're going to approach you. This is that, that gesture that they're going to make. As this says fellowship, poor libation. So that's like somebody reaching out to you and asking you to go out on a date with them. Let's go out, grab a bite to eat, you know, sit down and let's have some drinks, you know, let's have a conversation. Let's catch up is what I'm hearing. And so this could be this person now, you know, approaching this situation honestly, transparently, you know, because something in them has transformed and something within you has transformed. Perhaps you transforming and changing and evolving has triggered them to do so. And so now that's why they're feeling the chemistry. That's why they want to offer this cup of love. This is like the beginnings of a new love connection, a new love story. Next, we have attitude of gratitude. So you're very thankful for everything that you've been through because you didn't go through it. You grew through it. And whatever was meant to kill you, it only made you stronger. You can't kill death. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't kill death. Death is, is, is the conduit of change. Death is rebirth. Death is, death is reincarnating. Death is the emergence of the phoenix. And that's what you did. And you're thankful and you have the attitude of gratitude, which means you're very humble. Because you've, you've survived whatever this was, whatever these experiences was, you took the time out to heal. You took that time out to lick your wounds, to recover. And you have a strong sense of love for self. And you have a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself, which is why you're able to now release what no longer serves you because now you know your worth. Now you know your value. Now you know what you deserve. And with, can't you see what I've been going through? It's like, that's your sentiment. You're not, you're not going to allow anybody to come in and take you back to that dark place. Fearless. So someone needs to be fearless and make this decision. Somebody has to step out of their Head, step out of their their comfort zone and they need to 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 jump you know they need to just jump take that leap of faith and be fearless because maybe someone is afraid maybe someone is so codependent on a connection that they're fearful of the outcome they're fearful of where this head leads if i leave this person what's going to happen to me if i leave this person will i be able to pay my bills and survive on my own, whatever their fears are rooted in. It's like they're going to be fearless and they're going to go after what they want because they know that the divine is giving them the signs. The divine is telling them this is leading to your growth, to your elevation. And so right now we have Shaba ranks. Don't test me. So this person, this person is now drawing their strength, perhaps from the divine, perhaps from even you, maybe you're inspiring them, but it's like, they're like, don't test me because now they're willing to, to move forward with this, this, with this whole 
plan and plot to to leave a situation to separate from someone because they know that they are going to have this happiness on the other side of this this separation leaving someone will lead to their happiness to their emotional fulfillment with visualizations someone is absolutely dreaming of you thinking of you constantly someone sees you as well like I said, as this very strong, powerful, divine feminine, the queen of pentacles is like the, the um, pre-empress status. So it's like they see you, you know, as this very regal, royal, even if you're a king, you know, a very regal and royal person. They know your worth. They know your value. They see you as a leader, a boss. Like you don't need for anything. You don't want for anything. This queen of pentacles, she lives a lavish life. She likes the finer things, but she's also very grounded. She's very down to earth. She's like a natural healer, nurturer, lover. She keeps you grounded, rooted. You could plant seeds and roots with her, you can grow with her, build with her. That's beautiful. Or him, for that matter. So it says, I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions. So this person here, this is the two minds, stuck in two minds. They know that you want someone that's very emotionally intelligent. They know that you desire that communication and that show of love. So they're trying to figure out how to do this, how to come in and reconcile, how to come in and ask for your forgiveness, perhaps, you know, how to repair this connection overall. So let's see, why is manifestation and recon reconciliation and the two of swords here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios may have a message of love and light. Why is manifestation reconciliation here? And the two of swords. Thank you, spirit. So it says you have people who are in secret competition with you. Keep your business to yourself. So that's probably why this person, my throat's getting blocked too. So someone's trying to block them. <clears throat> that's probably why they're not communicating. Because they're trying to figure out how to navigate and get out of this situation with this, this toxic ex. Because whoever this person is, it's like they're trying to plan it very strategically. You know, this is like the fork in the road. And remember, you got separation and then you have fearless. So they, they are they're building their confidence. They're, they're trying to be assertive in regards to this, because maybe this is somebody who made them feel powerless. But they're trusting their own intuition like they're using head over heart because perhaps they know that somebody is, you know, in this competition, perhaps with you. Or maybe they think that there's other competition out here that could potentially move in. No, scratch that. This is somebody that's trying to plan how to get out of a situation to come towards you. And that's why they're keeping it very hush. They're not saying anything. With spiritually guided, divinely protected, they're trusting and checking their higher self. For, and, you know, they're, they're, they're consulting with their higher self. They're getting the downloads, the divine interventions. They're going with their gut instinct. They're going with their intuition because they know that there's somebody that's a hater that's in their circle, in their circumference. Because remember on the hermit card we saw, I can't find it now. What did I do with that deck of cards? <clears throat> they saw like the, um, there was like a snake. And so there's a snake just kind of sitting there waiting for its opportunity to strike. And so this person knows that, you know, whoever they're with is very competitive and they know they may be coming towards you for reconciliation if this is someone you are familiar with and somebody could be trying to sabotage that. But they're trusting this this guidance from their higher self, from spirit, from their angels. And this is someone who absolutely has been hiding what they felt out of fear. Truth is, I love you. That's what it says. I hide what I feel out of fear. Truth is, I love you. So this person that's been hiding their feelings, their emotions, they wasn't hiding anything because you're very intuitive. But they're finally going to muster up the strength to come towards you to tell you they would like to, to reconcile. Because I feel like this is someone that you've been manifesting. So we're going to get some messages from Goddess Guidance. And then we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> okay. And the bottom of the deck. Can't make this up. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. This is why I was picking up this feeling of you being insatiable. Like you are someone that is desired. They desire you. There's no denying that. And you are master manifesting. There's an undying love here between you and this person. 
This person loves you to the moon and back. There's no denying this connection, this emotion, this, this attraction. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's pick up some messages. So this one jumped out of my hand, so we're taking it. We got true love and infinite supply. So these are the two messages that just jumped out. And I feel like the divine is telling me to just keep those. And, and actually, if you look at this deck. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Look at that. So this is what's facing. All these other cards are facing. You can see they're all the opposite direction. This one was facing me. So expect a miracle. I've been telling you that because you had 88 abundance and uh, eight manifestation. Now you have infinite supply, which means that you're going to be supplied for not just today, but all of your tomorrows. You know this. This is a purple card. You're just at the tail end of wrapping up a cycle. So you're completing a cycle. Intuitively, you can feel something. You can feel the nudging. You can feel the shift in the energy. And it's related to not only financial blessings, because it says you will be supplied for today and all of your tomorrows, but you also have true love coming. And the divine is saying, this is a miracle. This is a wish fulfillment. This is something being granted because you are just. You deserve it. It's part of your karma. So this is a beautiful way to end the reading. I thank you all for tuning and tapping in. If you found that the message has resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, share, and the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are returning, my beautiful Scorpios, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat Ashe. Affirm this, claim this, and it's because you manifested it. Ashe, peace.